You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for the final vlog from our trip here to Italy. Today we're here at Movieland Park at Caneva World for our first ever visit. I'm so excited. This park opened here in 2002, and it's a Hollywood-themed movie park, and it looks very interesting. Some very unique attractions very here. very funny. I've always wanted to come here when I've visited Gardaland before. However, the season hadn't quite kicked in yet, so we planned our visit this year so we could get this park. I can't wait. It's always so exciting. <laughs> coming somewhere for the first time and from what we've seen on the website some of the attractions look very uh mysterious. what's the word yeah mysterious unique yeah here. just want to say thank you to the team here at movie land park for having us today so here we go should we go and get inside let's go. let's go and check it out i cannot wait for it especially the hollywood tower that you can see there behind us here's a look then at the main entrance yeah you can see you've got the red london buses at either side and yeah, all the flooring is nicely painted up here. And of course, you've got the iconic studio style entrance out the front there. I've got to say, all the planting and buildings look really nice here at this park. It is only a small park, however, it's got lots of attractions inside. And some of the highlights are going to be the shows. As you can see, there's an action packed show schedule here at Movie Line Park. But yeah, just wait for the gates to open. Park hours today 10 a.m. through to 7 p.m. Oh, I like this. Just had a bit of a countdown. They've just said lights, camera, action, and the gates have opened. Hey, here we go. I'm impressed so far. I like the uh, welcome that you get into the park. And yeah, I cannot wait for the interim drop tower over there. Not any normal drop tower, as you'll find out later on. But yeah, here's like the Hollywood Boulevard street that they've got just here. Oh, this is lovely. Water tower just off to the right there. I love visiting somewhere for the first time. It is so exciting. Of course, we've got a couple of coasters to ride today as well, including Diabolic just over there, the Vekoma Boomerang in Vertigo. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. Oh, this is very nice. And yeah, we think our first show is about to happen on this stage in about five minutes. So yeah, we're gonna stick about and uh, capture this. A big part of this park is shows and experience attractions. And yeah, this is very nice down here. It's giving me proper universal vibes walking into here. And yeah, the Hollywood backdrop there at the bottom is great as well. Here we go, here's the main guy, here's the mascot of the park. Well, well, welcome to the park. That wouldn't look out of place in Disney's Hollywood Studios or Universal. That's really nice, that one. A fantastic welcome to the park. And yeah, are you ready for our first ride? I'm a bit nervous. It's the Hollywood Tower. Come and have a look at this. Well, this looks really unique. I've wanted to give this a go for years. It's an intermin drop tower. And yeah, as you can see, it's huge. But what makes this unique is that you actually drop down and then you end up on your back as you come down here. And yeah, here's a look at the ride system. And yeah, I'm so excited for this. Should we go and get straight on it? I think we can. Of course, we're allowed to film on the rides here today. So yeah, let's go and give this a go. It's the Hollywood Tower. <laughs> here we go. Nobody else has come to this ride this morning. Got the hose pipe on just down there. And here's Charlotte. I don't know how I feel. I was kind of expecting the restraints to be a lot tighter, but yeah, they're not. not. Like really loose. So yeah, we're going up. This big tower now. You can actually see this from Gardaland as well. We've got an audience. We've got an audience watching us. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, we're going to come down on our back. It's going to be really weird, this. I've always wanted to give this a go. But yeah, there's Diabolic just over there. Hopefully it's not Diabolical. Oh, here we go, right at the top. It's got audio. Tower of Terror. <laughs> What is going on? Oh, look at the side! Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was really good! Oh, we're on our bags! Literally laying on our bags! What? <laughs> that was brilliant, that was! How good was that? Oh my god! Oh my 
my god. Look at that, that was absolutely crazy. That has just happened. I have wanted to ride that for so long. It's so good, I really enjoyed that. The audio up there. It's so weird. And what I love as well is when you move forward, how the letters fall yeah, and then good. you drop. Oh, no. How forceful was it for you? It wasn't that forceful, I don't think, to be honest. Because normally drop towers aren't great for you. To be honest though, you don't drop loads. It's more you're on your back more. Yeah, it's a really interesting yeah. ride system. And here it is. Oh, that did not disappoint. What a start to the day. The awesome Hollywood Tower here at Movie Land Park. Epic that was. Oh, I still can't get over that. It was brilliant. It really was. Anyway, we're now making our way to Diabolic. However, you actually have to come back out through the archway, not out through the turnstiles, because that's over there. Then you take a left over here, which is quite interesting. It is. Yeah, really unique. Obviously, this was a later addition to the park. We head down this way. And talking of new additions, it looks like they're building something new here for 2023, whatever that's going to be. But yeah, let's head down and get on this Vekoma. Here's a look then at Diabolic. It's a Vekoma in Vertigo. A very different take on the classic boomerang opened here in 2015 and used to operate over in the USA at Six Flags America. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a go because sometimes you can face forwards, sometimes you can face this backwards. Oh, it's quite intense for the ones I've done before. So let's go and see how this rides. I tell you what though, the overall quality of this park from what we're seeing, all the pathways, the landscaping, it's a very nice park. Yeah, let's go and ride and we'll take you on with a POV. And up we go. See so yeah, how we've got ourselves what well, looks like the front, but it's actually the back. <laughs> Climbing up. They have actually got a water park here as well. And yeah, you get some views of that just at the side. Looks very well themed. Nice views of the mountains. Oh, has it got onboard audio? Yeah. Look at that. Here we go. Woo! Oh, it's fast. Whoa! Oh, he's got some rock music. Woo! To be honest, it's pretty smooth. Woo! Hey! Oh! Yeah, it's really quite smooth. We got something really unique coming up next down here. Can't wait for this. Here we go. Woo! Oh! This ride's absolutely fine. I was expecting that to be diabolical. Well, no, it's just diabolic. We'll deal with that. That was really good. Very smooth. Like, that had everything geared up for it to be a painful ride. And it really wasn't. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, water parlor's really well themed. It's not open yet for the season, but I'm sure that's something we'll come back for in the future. We was both geared up for a painful experience there, and it really wasn't, was it? No, that was quite smooth, actually. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It's very re-rideable. Yeah, me too, Joe. I'd definitely go on it again. Yeah, we'll have a go later on, and we'll sit opposite each yeah, other. Yeah, so we can see each other's reactions. Definitely. Right, what are we going on now, then, Charlotte? So we're going on, I don't know how to pronounce it, so it's called <laughs> Cantiga, but it's like you drive a Jeep. Yeah, and literally, it's not on a track not on or a track. anything. This looks very <laughs> unique. Charlotte's going to be the driver. I'm so excited. Let's go and check it out. And we mentioned the water park just when we was on the ride. You can see a couple of the water slides there right next to Diabolic. We have three inversions on there, of course. You've got the ginormous Cobra Roll and also the loop. But here we go. They're actually playing the music from Reign of Kong just here. We've got King Kong music, Charlotte. Oh. We're off down to see the dinosaurs. Listen to this. I actually feel like I'm back at Universal. But I'll tell you what, the theme in is probably better than Kong in Islands of Adventure. Look at this. Oh, I'm excited for this. This is going to be good. It gets busy. Look at the queue times. There was one there for 120. This one says 60. Obviously, it's really quiet today. But um, yeah, does this park get very busy? We don't really know. Look at the theming. I mean, it must get busy if they've got uh, queue times like that. Oh, I can't wait for this. Look at the theming. No black ceilings in here. in the station area, base camp for Expedition Pangia. Look at this. So yeah, there's actually five trucks in operation. You can see them going round on that screen at the top. There's no guide rails, there's no track. It uses kind of like uh, motion sensor technology, if you like. So, so you can't crash it, don't worry, Charlotte. You can't crash. Like This is a unique attraction built in-house by the park and only opened in 2018. Let's go and give it a ride. 
And we are off, so we wait about 20 minutes. Charlotte's in the driving seat. Oh, there is an e-stop. And also it's available in English as well. You just touch the screen. Look at this, onboard sound. My name is Emma, and today I will be your driving Wow. And yeah, it gives you all the instructions of how to drive and the layout just there. <laughs> this is crazy. So yeah, it uses like collision sensor technology. So it's impossible for you to crash. It's a bit like Kilimanjaro safaris at Disney, where you're driving it yourself. This is crazy. Charlotte's in her element. She's been looking forward to this all trip. It's going to be a bit bumpy, this is. Wow. The tunnel of time. Thousands of years ago, by the Lush Eye Tunnel. Animatronics. Turn to the left. This is one of the most unique rides I think I've ever seen at a theme park. This is brilliant through the water, Charlotte. Wow. Like, instead of just building a normal tracked car ride. They've gone with something really unique like this, and I find that amazing, I really do. I'm holding on for dear life here, viewers. So yeah, if you want to be a driver on this, you've got to be at least 14 years old. Well, this is absolutely epic, like, it's so bumpy, you got the tunnel. Like, how amazing is this, Charlotte? How, how is it to drive then? How are you finding the controls? It's very easy, you only have to press the pedal and that's it. Yeah, there's no gear changes or anything no, like that. Nothing. And Charlotte just steered it to the left a little bit, and it wouldn't let you crash, would it? No, I just had to, like, turn the wheel and it reversed it back. Yeah, like, how unique is this? Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Oh, I like him on there. Okay, everybody, remain calm and do not panic. We have. Oh no, I think the dinosaurs have escaped. It appears that Mama T Rex oh, is no. about to protect her babies and do our threat to her. It's a long ride. And obviously, yeah, you've got this lady who's back at base camp who's putting us in control. And yeah, just here, it tells you actually where to steer it. So I saw it just actually said keep left on there. Um, just giving Charlotte some instructions. And when you're steering it perfect, it says great job, keep going. Then you've got a map of the route and you get your team score as well. And talking of your team, you can actually have family members sat in the back here as well. You've got to watch this though. This is baking hot, this is. Oh my God, we're going up there. Pay attention. On your leg, we detect a large oh, dinosaur approach. Oh. T-Rex species identified. The dinosaurs the killed him. We just have to cross the There we go, we're nearly there. Just crossing over this little bridge now. <laughs> and then back up to base camp. Oh, good driving there, Charlotte. Oh, he's there, animatronic. Oh! <laughs> Brilliant that was, absolutely epic. Well that is going to be one of the most impressive and unique theme park attractions I have ever seen. That was absolutely brilliant from start to finish. I can't believe it. Now there was one point where we did get a little bit stuck. We did, but they came out and got us. On a motorbike, I know, which brilliant. is amazing. That thing is so well thought out. Amazing technology and developed in-house as well. Such a great ride. The creative team here at this park obviously like creating something really immersive and proud unique. Of that, Brilliant. Spectacular, and what we're seeing with all the theming as well. That was epic. Loved it. Oh, I loved it so much. One of the best and most unique attractions Don't I've ever seen. It. All these years I've been going to theme parks, I've never seen something I like know. that. That was brilliant, that was. I am blown away with what we're seeing at this park. And the best thing is about here is that the theming is so consistent. It knows exactly what it is. It's a Hollywood themed park. And it's fantastic, it really is. We've got another unique attraction coming up now. This vlog's gonna be full of them. It's Magma 2.1. Attraction with water effects. Now we've heard that this can be a bit of a soaker. Not as much as the uh, famous submarine ride that we've got coming up later. But the poncho is going on. Submarine ride, <laughs> I've been dreading it. Let's go and give this a go, it's Magma 2.1. There we go, so off goes the visitor truck. Yeah, we're sat just here on like a mock-up truck. I don't know what is going on. Like, I am loving this place so far. It's the excitement of going somewhere for the first time. But uh, here we go. So yeah, we're waiting for another truck. We think it might only be on one because that one's getting cleaned over there. So yeah, we'll find out imminently. Looking forward to this. Well, hey, and we're off. It's got some speed, this has. Yeah, we're right near the front. Oh, oh, under terror, terror. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Around the 
Yeah, we've got, yeah, we got a screen at the front, giving us a bit of info. So yeah, we've got somebody driving it. Oh, Friday, what is going on? I feel like we're going around back of house roads of a theme park on this. Like, what is even happening? It's actually playing in the background, the entrance music to Universal Islands of Adventure, which is funny. It's going hard. You're all wrapped up in your poncho. People have got the hoods up behind. Something big's going to happen. has been lost. We're going over a bridge now. What? This park is crazy. Is it a two-way bridge? I think it is. Whoa! Oh mind, we've got no seatbelt or restraint. Point 0.1. That was like a seven or eight minute experience. Yeah, absolutely like, it was so fast at some point. It kind of reminded me of, again, a Disney and Universal attraction, uh, but really kind of rough around the edges, which made it. There's just so much going on, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> that moving platform and all I know, the power like, cuts. what has just happened? Yeah, there was the fire effects on there, and then the actual system itself. Um, literally, a massive truck, no track or anything like that. Uh, and what made it is he reversed back down into what some scenes. Oh, the overall experience of this park, I love it. And I really appreciate how they go out of the way and do some unique attractions. Exactly, which is what people want. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. The park itself is very small. What he's got here is absolutely phenomenal. I agree. It's really good so far. And we've got this little Italy set here behind us. It's really pretty around here. You've got the truck over there. You got the cars, and yeah, all the facades just here. Welcome to Little Italy. And just next to it there, the Hollywood Tower. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, this place. Absolutely loving it. We are new for 2022. They've actually put in an SNS shot tower just over here. So I think we'll give that a ride, shall we? Let's do it. Now, you probably noticed it's nowhere near as hot today. No, it's not. I think we might have a storm. Yeah, it's given out a lightning storm this afternoon. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But of course, we've got in nice and early. We'll make the most of it and get in as much as we can do at this park. Luckily, there's quite a few indoor attractions, so I thought we'll try and do the outdoor stuff first, just in case the storm comes in later on, which I think it's going to. Oh, these look good off to the side. Look at these, they're really well themed. That's the key to this park, beautifully decorated. And yeah, they love these uh, little seating areas, look. I like that. Here we go, yeah, you sit down, and then they come and collect you and put you on the ride. That's good, how you doing, you all right? All right, let's get on a ride. Space Mission Orbit. Oh, I'm lifting up. Charlotte's enjoying it just there. 
Houston, we are going for launch. Oh, laddie, audio. Launch control, this is Houston, we are going for launch. We are going for launch, Charlotte, are you ready? It's just started to rain. We're going to get a nice view over the bar from on this side. With this being new, I think it'll have quite a kick, hopefully. Whee! Oh, right next to the rocket. Oh, what a view. Yeah, there's the water park off to the left. And God will land down there to the right. Yeah, it's a combo tower by the looks of it. I like how we're right next to the rocket here. I think that's really cool. All the main entrance street down there. It's a lovely park, this is. Are you ready, Charlotte? <laughs> I think he's gonna have a bit of kick to it, this. Lovely good combo tower. Fantastic. Vineyards just over there, all the wine. Oh. Wine. <laughs> nice bit of wine in Italy. Oh, that was good fun. Well, that was really good fun. You got some awesome views. And yeah, it was nice how it was a combo tower as well. Yeah, it was great. Some good theming around. This whole park is great with the theming. We're in a nice restaurant now. What have you gone for? An absolute bargain. So these chips yeah. are freshly cooked spaghetti bolognese. These little magnum things in a drink for 12 euros. That's really good, isn't it? And I've gone for a nice classic hot dog. And yeah, that was three euros. Yeah, not too bad at all. But yeah, everything here is very immersive. Very impressive what we're seeing. What are your thoughts then on your lunch, Charlotte? That was absolutely delicious. It was oh, so nice. I'm glad that you liked it. And yeah, we've come back out and the sun's come out again now. Yeah, look at this, all the flooring, some great theming. And up next, we're making our way to a submarine ride. This looks very, very interesting. We've heard a lot about this. It's another soaker. We thought we've got to get it done. Look at this. It is a real horse, yeah, and it seems like you can have a little ride through the park. We've seen people sat on the back of it, and the mascot was on it earlier as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's just down here somewhere. Submarine ride. Looking forward to this. Here we go then. So it's the U571 Submarine Simulator Attraction. And yeah, it's an attraction with lots of water effects. People have just been walking up the pathway and look so Charlotte. <laughs> Entrance is just over here. We've heard a lot about this attraction. Let's go and experience it. Here we go. This is like the ultimate water attraction for Charlotte. Well, everybody's wearing ponchos, so I thought I'm going to have to join the club. It is rare that you see me wearing a poncho, but I've heard stories about this. I've not seen on-ride footage, but I've heard stories. Literally, everyone's got the ponchos on. Then people who walk past. You haven't shared any stories so, with me. Well, let's see how it rides, Charlotte. We're going on the submarine simulator. Well, there's a look at the submarine just there. It's actually a life-size submarine here in this building. How epic is this? And we're going into it. dark in here there's only a couple of lights on I think it's gonna get pitch black well yeah I think it's some kind of simulator experience I don't think we're on a track it's like a motion so oh lights off bizarre attractions I've ever experienced. We was in the submarine there for about five minutes. Obviously, I only put in a little bit of footage. Hey, people all wide on YouTube. I only put in a tiny bit of footage um, because, yeah, you could hardly see anything. It went pitch black in there. Oh my God, I really didn't like that. If you're claustrophobic, I wouldn't recommend that I attraction. I panic because there was water just coming from everywhere. Yeah, well, what it was, it was pipes down the side of the submarine yeah, pumping the water in. Squirting um, in. I'm not absolutely dripping. I don't think you get as wet as the likes of Valhalla or Tidal Wave.
brave on that, oh but it's the fact you're in a confined space I was like really that. Scared on and that. the water's coming in. I'm proud of you for going I on know, there, Charlotte. I've done it. Yeah, and giving it a go. It's my least favourite attraction that we've done so yeah, far I agree. Um, in terms of the overall experience, but it's very unique, isn't yeah, it? it is. With the water coming in, yeah, the submarine, it didn't actually stay still. It was like a motion simulator. I nearly fell back off my seat. Yeah, there was no seat belts or restraints. Yeah. Uh, it was very unique. I enjoyed doing it. I did. Um, but yeah, it was something very different. But you know what? I'm glad we had the ponchos, but it's not an absolute complete soaker. I don't know. It depends where you sit. Isn't yeah, and it all depends as well on how you are when it comes to confined spaces. Oh my God, I was scared of that. Yeah, you are literally underwater in a submarine. But no, I enjoyed it. It was good fun. Here we go then. It's time for our next attraction, unique in the world. It's the Kids Superjet just here. And yeah, this is a speedboat ride. Looking forward to this. Another awesome water ride. And now, as you can see, you actually enter up through a truck here. It's actually Night Rider themed as well. Look at this. Are you ready, Charlotte? Hey, <laughs> full of water rides for you today. We got a log flume later as well. Right, let's go and get on the super jet. Oh, here we go. How stylish do we look, Charlotte? How good do we look? We're all ready to go. Yeah, you do need to wear a live vest on this attraction. We're all ready. How are you feeling? I'm really nervous. Ah, looking forward to it. We'll see you on the ride. I'll tell you what, they should sell these in the gift shop. Here we go. On the jet boat. how you had the little interior show scene as yeah, well. Yeah, stuff going on everywhere. Shooting through the walls and also it seemed like they used a lot of the effects that we're going to see later on in the stunt show. Really oh, here we go, music's kicked in. Right, we're on the uh, panorama monorail just here now for a scenic view around this bottom end of the park. And the good thing is there's also um, a little area where you can change the language from Italian to English as well. Yeah, they really think about international visitors here. Right. Yeah, the theming of this park it's absolutely spectacular. I'm loving how unique it is as well. We've done some brilliant attractions. This is the first normal attraction that we've done in three hours. <laughs> yeah, the submarine ride, of course, was inside that building over there. We've got some shows coming up, the huge stunt show later on. There's some great views of Lake Garda over there as well. That's fun. There we go, Universal Studios Hollywood. So yeah, it says basically how the management went over to America fell in love with the parks over there and then yeah wanted to build something similar here in Europe. Ah yeah there it is in action. So yeah ah good spot there. Yeah so yeah you can see more of it from outside here than we could on rise. But yeah so basically we started inside that building, walked through an actual submarine and then yeah came forward onto that simulator. Fascinating attraction. Really unique place. Yeah, even the monorail is different. Like, where else have you been on a monorail where it stops like that? Oh, yeah, you just don't get it. <laughs> Jet boat just there. 
<laughs> yeah, it makes it really unique, that does. You know, just like, here it is. Yeah, you could tell when we was on there, especially because there was no restraints either. Brilliant stuff. But yeah, this crane actually moves out here. I think we've got a little preview of the stunt show, very similar to Universal Studios Hollywood. Looks like the plane is going to launch out and towards the crowd. So looking forward to seeing that later. Yeah, the monorail just stopped again and gave you some more information about the super jet. Well, do you know that Mugen will get bigger and bigger? Sure I do. By now, I am also a creative consultant. Enjoying the monorail ride, and it's very different when it comes to a stop every so often. Unfortunately, there is an SBNO roller coaster here. You can see it just off to the right. It's a shame about that. But yeah, hopefully, this will be an area for future development. It's not operated for a few years now. Yeah, I would have liked to have given that a go. It looks quite good fun, actually. An old Schwarzkopf coaster. But yeah, I reckon this is future development down here. Some pretty big space. I'd love to see another major coaster here at the park. There is another little junior coaster we've got to ride, though. We'll give that a go. Gorgeous views off to the right of Lake Garda. And then, yeah, you can see people's houses just here. And this shows how close we are to Garda Land. You can see Oblivion, the black hole over there. People's swimming pools down here. And yeah, we have some more attractions down at this back end of the park. It's a small park, but it's got so much going for it. I'm really enjoying it. We've got the log flume down here, the junior coaster, and a couple of flats. Loved our ride there on the monorail. And yeah, it was like a single file monorail ride with the trains on there, which was interesting. Down here into Stone Age now, very vibrant themed area. And yeah, I love all the flooring throughout this park. The pathways are great. And yeah, I've actually just realized I'm doing a bit of research that that SPNO coaster, while well, I've already been on it, it used to operate at both Loudoun Castle and also Lightwater Valley back in the UK before it came out here to Italy. So yeah, I have actually been on that. Good old classic Jetstar. Right, should we go on here? Should we give this a ride? It's the octopus just here. There we go. Look at this nice octopus. Here we go then on the hairy octopus. Oh, it starts off like a sizzler before raising up. I'm surprised you've come on to be honest, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> it's blowing your hair about a bit, I know that. Don't worry, it's still a beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hairy octopus, there it is, his little hair. Really hairy. Octopuses don't have hair, do they? No, they don't. I think so. Woo! Lifting up for a bit of a spin. So, yeah, we've got a little junior coaster to get on over there. A little dinosaur themed junior coaster. We've got a log flume. <laughs> no comment. And also a pirate ship that looks like it used to be one of them 360 degree inverting ones. But yeah, I don't think it is anymore. So yeah, we're going to check out these other rides down here. Octopus, so hairy and scary. <laughs> well, we had a wonderful ride there on the octopus. It made me feel sick. Oh, I quite liked it. Good long cycle as well. And up next, we've got our second coaster. Only two operational coasters here at this park. However, this looks good fun. To be honest, looking at the size of it, you think you'd need a kid. It looks so funny. You don't. We can go on it as adults. Yeah, let's go and ride. Oh, it looks good, this does. I tell you what, this bottom end of the park is really giving me Ugland vibes. That old area that used to be at Alton Towers, where Dark Forest is now. There it is. It's not even got a proper queue like this. Literally, you just kind of rock up here at the side of the pathway and then get on the ride. Like, you know, look at this. Got a little picnic bench down here. Here we go. Let's go and give it a ride. Whee! No mess about on this thing. We're off. And I think we got about 50 laps on here, Charlotte. Cred to cred though, innit? Here we go. Sun's out. Well, I've just checked the weather app and the storm has passed now. So yeah, we've done well there, Charlotte. Lovely. Originally, it was saying it was going to be wet all afternoon. And yeah, we've done really well. <laughs> yeah, this is one of them rides where it's powered by this rail in the middle here and you can see the wire that's coming from it. At least it's themed in there and how it spins around, which is good fun. <laughs> well, look, I can just be standing with the lap bars up as well. But right, just off we go. What a great park this is though. Down here at the bottom, this is like the most normal part of the park, isn't it? Like, everyone else is like, what is going on? But no, it's quite, a bit more normal down here. Woo. Nice little ride for the kids though, this. 
Here we go then, it's time for another water ride. Up next, we've got the log flume. It's Tronchosaurus just here. Are you ready? Hello. Poncho's on. <laughs> this poncho's been out loads today. Yeah, Thema looks pretty good on this. Hey, they're loving it. <laughs> nice theme boats on here as well. Oh God, they do look quite wet. Oh, I bet you're glad you got that poncho now. I was just saying to Charlotte, I don't think we're gonna get that wet on here, but I take them words back now. I don't know how many drops it is or anything. It's hard to work out the layout here. But yeah, it really reminds me of the old Ugland area at Alton Towers. All the nostalgia. Let's go and ride. Up we go then, another walk on rise. And yeah, it's a weird layout for a log flume. Last conveyor lift hill. Here we've got another lift on that side. Whee. Nice clean water on this one though. That's what I like to see. Yeah, the layout kind of mirrors itself. How are you in the back there, Charlotte? Not good. Not good? Not all, good. all these water rides today, what is going on? You've got a poncho on. I have got a poncho on. <laughs> it's only because we're going to be going inside watching shows. That's why. I thought I don't want to sit there in a theatre soaking wet through in the air conditioning. You get that in Florida sometimes, don't you? You know, like when you've been outside and then you get soaked and you think you're fine outside, then you go and watch a show and you're freezing in the air. Come, here we go. I don't know how wet we're going to get. Quite a bit, I think. Oh, not a lot in the front, I'm all right. Not much. <laughs> it's got some weird straight sections on this as well. Some nice colourful themed buildings down here as well. Some of them need a bit of a paint up down here though. But the log food looks pretty fresh. Around this slow section at the top now, before the big drop. There we go. Oh. Wow, movie land park. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. How was your ride then on the log flume, Charlotte? I am soaked wet. So, oh yeah, a few little drips there. Yeah, you had your poncho on. Oh, I'm soaked. Yeah, <laughs> that was good fun, that nice one. Nice clean water on that one. You don't mind getting wet, do you, when it's clean water? No, exactly. I wouldn't have wore a poncho, but literally, because we're going to watch some indoor shows, like I said, just, if you've got the air conditioning, you're it's freezing out, good. aren't you? Yeah, I've done that before in America. Anyway, I'm going to take you on this nice uh, pirate ship just behind us now. Yeah, it's a very nicely themed area yeah, down it's here. Lovely. The whole park, I think, for both of us has really exceeded it. expectations. Really nice. So much fun and lots of unique attractions here. It's BC-10 Control Tower. Here we go, BC-10 Airlines just here. Oh yeah, let's go and give this a ride. You can tell it used to be one of those that used to go all the way over, especially when you look at the restraint system. But yeah, not anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, let's go and give this a ride. I'll tell you what I have just noticed off to the side here. There's these three signs with a movable arrow that says soft, medium, and hard. So yeah, it's pointing to soft at the moment. So yeah, maybe we're just getting a soft ride and then it points to change it to either a medium or a hard ride. Or maybe it always stays soft. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> oh, blimey. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much of a swing on air. It's not too uncomfortable though, because obviously these do come down quite a bit, but not too tight, which is good. Yeah, so we're just getting a normal swing. You used to have another flat ride over the other side of the park, but yeah, that's not here anymore. I think that was removed a couple of years ago. Blimey, is that here? We're slowing down. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was removed a couple of years ago. Another unique flat. We had like a fire show. Shame they got rid of that because I would have liked to have done it. But yeah, you know what? There's development happening in this park. Some old rides going away, new bits coming in. And yeah, it's fascinating. I love this place. You gotta come and check it out, especially if you're coming to Gardaland. So we're all done for the bottom end of the park now in the dinosaur area. Some great theming down there. And yeah, you got the mini jets just here as well. So of course you got the big jet boat. And then yeah, you got the mini ones just here as well. Great for the kids, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's nice though, that. Oh, coming into the side. Nearly as bad as Charlotte's driving earlier on. <laughs> Along with that, you got the uh, Fort Live experience just over here for the kids. That's the thing, the stuff for all the family at this park. And it is the same with Gardaland. They've both got a lot of attractions for everyone. Yeah, this is like an outdoor kind of combat shooting range that they've got just here. Yeah, there's also a brand new restaurant that's actually just opened today. So we'll show you that. It's just around this corner. But yeah, there is loads of food options available here. This looks really nicely themed. It's Taco Loco. And yeah, here's a look at the menu. To be honest, 
prices for food here pretty reasonable and the portions what you get from what we see in a great yeah all your tacos seem to be five euros fifty and yeah the theming of this up here like i said it's literally the opening day they've just had a ceremony for it this morning actually yeah very nice great theming kind of dario de los Mertos style which is great yeah you've got some nice music playing as well lovely plenty of seating up here and yeah another option for food here at this park yeah it's lovely down there at the back No, look just there at the new SNS shot tower. Yeah, they've also got a little rodeo attraction over here and upcharge. And down there as well as a little swings ride for the kids. Yeah, some good bits of theming around here. Some WD-40 just up there. There you go, if you want some WD-40, get yourself here to Movie Land Park. Yeah, this is a nice themed area. It's kind of like a US fire station theme going on. There is, that is loads to look at throughout this park. And yeah, cannot wait for the shows. Really, we've done all the major attractions now. There's a few smaller bits to do. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the entertainment, seeing what they've got on offer here. Because what we saw this morning with the entrance show was pretty epic. Okay, so we've got another mystery attraction just here now. It's Android. Shows every 20 minutes over at this one. It's got some great theming on the outside. But yeah, the final 3D battles are some sort of 3D attraction, this. Let's go and find out. This is Captain Joey Thomas. Are you online already? This is Captain Joey Thomas speaking. I'll be there in a few minutes. Our only chance is to escape. So we've been strapped into a ride system. Hey Joey, got your back. And yeah, there's actually a live actor in this show. I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, a lap bar's come down. We've got 3D glasses on. And we're watching these screens and theming. Here we go, we're bouncing a bit now. thinking that we've done all the major attractions for a screen-based ride that was awesome that was brilliant there was so much going on there was fire effects in there yeah it started off with this guy coming out at first i thought it was an animatronic at the side but no, it was a real actor yeah it was and then he came out in front of us we was on a ride system that moved quite a bit on there the lap bar didn't come down very far no, it did it no. um, yeah it moved quite a bit the screen quality was really good worth putting out that all the audio was actually in english it on was, that which is really good to um, but yeah i enjoyed it it meant that we could really kind of get immersed into good. it yeah. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. It was fantastic. Uh, lots of great theming as well in there. Uh, the large kind of robots that moved down. There was so much going on. It was it great. Was. It was like a six minute experience. Action packed from start to finish. I'm not normally a massive fan of screen based rides, but that had a lot of props and effects as well. Going on. Yeah, and it complemented the screens really nicely. Yeah, I love that. What a nice surprise. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon now here at Movie Land Park. Back up here now on the main street, where it's time to experience Fantasmic <laughs> with a K. I don't know either. I think it's some sort of family haunted attraction, but we will find out shortly. Yeah, let's uh, yeah go and give this a go. Whatever it is, I'm really not too sure. This is quite funny though, Charlotte. Look what's on the wall there, Jumanji, just down the road. Ooh, I think this is some kind of walkthrough family attraction a bit like a fun house but with lots of different props this is interesting it reminds me a little bit of spook slot to efteling we've got a slide credit here here we go bye charlotte whoa hey <laughs> right a clear view to come down here she comes hey <laughs> oh this coffin just there we go just owned up and scared us when we walk past it's like a family Boyd has walked through. Very cool. There is actually a scare attraction here. <laughs> to experience. What was that? Air cannon. Hey! Tell you just love exploring parts for the first time. Yeah. Loads of spooky ghost projections in here. Nice little family walkthrough. Is this the exit over here? There we go. That was quite nice, wasn't it? Into a coffee shop. Into a coffee shop. Hey. <laughs> Loads of movie posters. 
upon the walls. So just round the back of the main Hollywood street, you've also got the Sun Show here, Overdrive. Didn't realise that that's what Overdrive was. That's what I made sure we made it here to watch this. So many shows on offer at this park. We obviously we've got the big stunt show to see. We've got Medusa that we're going to be watching and a magic show as well. But you've also got Overdrive here. Unfortunately, we've missed getting into this one. It's only on once today. Um, but yeah, like look at the size of this. Another big scale show at this park. So much to see and the pack loads in. Right then, we're going on the Route 66 car ride that they've got now here at this park. Look at this, another attraction. They've got so much packed into a very small space here. We thought it might be a half day park, but it really isn't, is it? No, it's not. It's just a full day. It is, and there's so much. Yeah, like I say, that overdrive stunt show, we had no idea that it was a big scale show like that. But we've got the main kind of stunt show over on the lake um, later on, but we're definitely going to be watching Medusa that we're going to be seeing as well. And yeah, it's kind of a ride round on here. And we've got a scare attraction coming up after this. Whee, here we go, it's a bit bumpy on here. There's Charlotte up ahead. Thought we may as well have one each, there's no queue at all. Walk on. And there's a view of the Hollywood Tower. Oh, great ride. There's so much epic stuff at this park. Rides, attractions, theming, shows. It's the full experience here. <laughs> it's not easy to drive this with one hand when you're filming. Always keep two hands on the wheel, unless you're filming a vlog. <laughs> yeah, absolutely walk on the attractions here. Now, I don't know if they still have this a thing, but we were reading online. They used to have a thing that if you wait more than 30 minutes for an attraction, you get your money back. I don't know if that's still the case or not, but how unique is that? There it is, that classic intimate. Oh, what a park, honestly. There's the water tower here as well. Well, your driving was much better on there than the Jeep, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, that was. I enjoyed it. But uh, here we go. It's time for Holmes Hotel now. And this is a scare attraction of some form. It is included in admission, which is good. Obviously, a lot of the time, these attractions are upcharged. But as you can see, opening hours, 10.30 to 1.00 and two through until five. Are you looking forward to this? I don't know what to expect. Oh, no, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to film in this one. Can't normally in the scare mazes. So yeah, we'll see you afterwards. There's a DeLorean there as well. Oh, I love that. Back to the future. Well, that was about a 15 minute long attraction. I am blown away with the quality of that. that was absolutely brilliant. It might not have been loads of actors in there. However, what they did have was epic theming. They used the space really well for the actors to like run around. They did indeed. It started off with like a library, Hollywood Tower hotel style it was, scene. Yeah. It was literally like a knockoff Tower of Terror in that scene. And literally, uh, they were wearing the bellhop outfit there and was. everything. We then went through the rest of this abandoned hotel. There were scenes that were kind of set outside at night. Um, there was some really good jump scares. Uh, there was a room full of carcasses in there. Oh, yeah, like all blood on the floor. Yeah, and then uh, one of my favourite scenes where we went through a room, and actually at the side there was a train that came past on a screen, and all the floor vibrated. It was, yeah, that was brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Packed full of effects. I'm surprised it's not an upcharge attraction. I'm very surprised. I'm glad that it's not though, because it means that your ticket price, you're getting so much in, in, are, in it. Like yeah. it's awesome. All these rides, shows, experiences, and even a scare attraction. Exactly. Talking of shows, we have to watch one now, aren't we, Charlotte? We are. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what this is like. So yeah, we'll head over to the venue and check it out. So I'm pretty sure that the area where this show is, there used to be a flat ride a few years ago, with loads of fire effects. But here we go, it's the Medusa epic show. So yeah, we're gonna be watching this right now. So yeah, we'll put in some highlights over the next couple of minutes.
was an absolutely spectacular production. That was so good. I know we don't speak Italian, but the whole show was just brilliant. It was just beautiful to watch, wasn't it? Really it really was, yeah. Like the costumes were brilliant. Oh, special effects in there, 25 minute show and 25 performers. It's crazy. It's amazing. And one of the performers in there was the person who was driving our jet boat yeah, earlier. That's so funny. I loved it. What a great show. Brilliant. Uh, you know, I'd love to learn another language. I really I would. And it's moments like that when you really want to speak like Thank Italian you, to yeah. understand it. What a great show. Really enjoyed that. Well worth going to see an absolutely epic production. And we've got another show next, haven't we? Have. We're going to see a magic show. Magic show. And this is in an indoor venue. Into the Movie Land Theatre then now for Movie Magic Machine. If it's anything like the entertainment that we've seen at this park so far, then this will be really high quality. Got a nice piano out here as well. Oh, lovely. Shall I play us a nice tune? <laughs> footage in there from that show because it was 35 minutes long and there wasn't much action in there. Oh, I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> great. Like, the theatre's lovely, the lighting's brilliant, but the show was a bit poor to be honest. Yeah, it only had four performers in as well yeah, compared to the grand spectacle that we saw yeah, before that. that. Yeah, it wasn't the best at all, that was it. Uh, obviously, it was all in Italian again. We expect that, you know, we are in Italy. We expect that, but the show itself just wasn't great. Yeah, not really much going on. It wasn't a magic show. It wasn't really behind the scenes of the movies either. I don't know what it was, to be There was a bit of time travel in there. I'm not too No, neither am I. I only put a little bit of footage in. There was some great lighting in there. Um, but anyway, we've got this little attraction to do over here now. We think it's some sort of interactive attraction, maybe? I don't really know. But yeah, it starts in five minutes and 41 seconds. Yeah, we'll give this a go, see what it is. So we've got 3D glasses on and we're watching a screen on a moving little system here. Well, what's really good for throughput reasons, you've got another screen on the opposite side of the room over there, which is really cool. We'll only put a little bit of footage in there because it was very dark. However, that was a very unique attraction. I really enjoyed that. We got one dollar. Oh, spend. that's nice. Isn't it? Yeah, actual dollar here oh, from no. Movie Land Park. There you go. But yeah, it was on like this moving ride system, uh, and then yeah, we just kind of it was a bit like a massage chair. That was really good. <laughs> that moved a lot and it squirted water. Right it did. It just kept coming. Yeah, it was quite good. That was only about five minutes in length. But definitely worth doing. There's a head party over there, and they're having a great time. And up next, we've got the stunt show. We have. We cannot wait for this. It looks absolutely awesome. Literally, we're waiting to go into a show, and there's another show on. There's so much entertainment at this park. Amazing. But anyway, it's the US Army stunt show. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we're making our way now into the arena. Let's go.
a turno. Iniziamo dalla nostra Well, that was absolutely spectacular. 30 minutes of non stop action. That was brilliant. There was so much going on. The fire effects was amazing. Oh, some of the best fire I've ever seen in a park Huge show. Huge explosion. It was amazing. Of course, the plane did come at the start. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that. No, it came so yeah. fast. I thought that would be near the end and I still think that should have been near the end. So. One of the best effects. But you know what, there was all sorts in there. The hovercraft was amazing. Was brilliant. Oh, just everything. A massive show and you saw the cast just there. Probably 30 plus performers in that. One of the best stunt shows I've ever seen. It reminded me a little bit of Waterworld at Universal Studios Hollywood. I know, it does, It yeah. was very similar to that. There's a lot of other parks that have inspired Movie Land. Yeah. But you know what, we've had an absolutely epic day. Uh, but that was stunning. What a way really to kind of that. wrap it up in terms of the shows here. Uh, there's so much entertainment, so many rides. you got to think, it's just gone 6 o'clock. We've been here since 10 a.m. and we've only really been on things once. Like, yeah, have, there's a yeah. lot to see. It's a small park, but there's so much jam-packed in. We've got an hour to go until park close, so we're just going to go around now, get some re-rides, and then we'll see you um, at the park exit where we'll wrap up today's vlog. Well, we've now left the park and we've done our final couple of re-rides oh, in there. Brilliant. It has indeed. And before we do our final wrap-up, we wanted to just show you this mini kind of city walk outside. Hey, yeah. theme park worldwide on YouTube. Because yeah. <laughs> yes, we are at Caneva World. And yeah, the park is actually only a small part of it, really, because you've got the water park here, um, which also looks huge. I'd say the water park looks the same size as the main park itself. And you've also got a couple of uh, other restaurants and there's a dinner show out here as well. It's kind of like a mini city walk outside the park, really. See, it's like a mini entertainment district out here, isn't it? Yeah, this is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, you've also got the Medieval Times show just over here. In fact, you've got the Fuego on just out there. Nice bit of fire. Everyone's got the hats on like they've been to Burger King. And yeah, the theme in looks awesome. If it's anything like most of the shows we've I seen today. Really yeah, I think so. Obviously, it's an evening dinner show. Something to do in the future, definitely. Yeah, and that's actually outside of the park. Obviously, the water park entrance is just off to the left there. You've got the Safari Pizza restaurant with an animatronic <laughs> Raff outside and yeah they've got loads you've also got uh, their own version of Margaritaville it seems I mean if you've been to Universal Orlando and seen City Walk yeah they've even got the plane just there and there's also the Rock and Roller restaurant just over at the other side there and that's open through until midnight so yeah they've actually got a few different restaurants outside the park cocktail bar up there I think this is absolutely fantastic like having all this on offer um, it's great it really is and yeah, just behind us is the facade of the Rock and Roll restaurant. But yeah, how nice it having this little city walk style I think area. It's really nice. It's like when you're coming out the park, people are going to spend money by going to these restaurants. It's perfect. Obviously, we've got the bus down from the train station, and the last one's at quarter past seven. Uh, so we haven't really got time to stay around here, which is a shame. Otherwise, we would. Yeah, definitely. Next time we come, we'll have a hire car and we'll make sure we spend 100%. some more time here. Uh, but you know what? This part, where do we even start to wrap this it's one up? It's been a brilliant day. I've really enjoyed it. When it comes to movie themed parks, Parks. This is one of my favourites, to it's be honest. It's up there at the top. Because it's got so many unique attractions, this place is phenomenal. And it's clear that the management here, um, you know, yes, they are inspired by the likes of Universal and Hollywood Studios, but their attractions, what they've actually got they here, are very unique to this park, yeah. um, which is fantastic. Things like the car ride, I love that. That was my favourite one, I the, loved it. The Jeep it. and the technology of that blew us Amazing. away. Amazing. Uh, but things like the submarine ride are really unique. Along with that, um, just seeing what they've done with technology here and taking it to the next level and the theming's fantastic yeah theming's great people look like they're having a really good time yeah and that's the main thing I mean you look on TripAdvisor for this place and people absolutely love it and they I can do, see yeah, why 100%. you know I was kind of expecting to come here and it feel a little bit run down in places it really doesn't it's really well looked after the shows are great the attractions are awesome Hollywood Tower was good fun yeah that was really good uh, of course along with that the studio tram tour that we did was amazing was uh, everything that we've done today we've loved really other than that indoor show that we watched yeah, earlier on yeah great uh, but you know what? What an absolutely epic day. Uh, I've loved it. It really has been fantastic. <laughs> Seeing the shows, uh, coming to a park for the first time uh, has been amazing. You can't beat first visits, no, can you? Can't, no. But we will be back here in the future. 100%. One of the funniest and most unique parks I've ever been to. It's got a great atmosphere, and that is the key to it atmosphere it at this really park. It really makes it, yeah. You know, it might not be the biggest. In fact, it's probably one of the smallest parks. However, we've had a full day in here today. Action packed, 10 till 7. Yeah, we have, yeah. Absolutely amazing. We've only done a couple of 
luxury ride. So if you come in here, it's don't expect day. it to be like a half day park. If you want to see everything, it's a full day, it Definitely. really is. Well, there we go. That wraps up uh, our trip here to Italy. We've had a great time. It's been brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. Of course, if you haven't already, check out the travel vlog and, of course, the two vlogs from Gardaland just down the road. And, yeah, you've been joining us here at the absolutely awesome Movie Land Park. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep on riding. We'll see you back in the UK.